Breaking news straight from Marlon Humphrey, directly from his podcast where he teamed up with Jack Settlement called Punchline Podcast. He said J.K. Dobbins will be back soon. He said he knows that. J.K. Dobbins is on the way to make his big return, his long-anticipated return. There's been a sort of weird offseason for J.K. Dobbins and the Baltimore Ravens. Of course, he wants a contract. Ravens, uh, apparently they've been talking to him about a contract. Because that came out a couple days ago that the Ravens have been having conversations with J.K. Dobbins about a contract. And we'll see. We'll see how things go. I think if Ravens do, if they were to give J.K. Dobbins a contract right now, then it will be one that would be extremely Raven friendly, extremely team friendly. And I feel like J.K. Dobbins, the best, in my opinion, I think the best thing for him to do to get as much money as he possibly can in this running back market is to go out there and ball. Just go out there and ball Now I ain't got no problem with him Holding out trying to get his bread Like I always say I got no problem with people Trying to get their money Get get your bread Whoever you are Wherever you are Whether you in sports Whether you a business Whether you whatever Get your money No problem with that But with J.K. Dobbins I feel like if he got some chunk of change From the Baltimore Ravens right now it will be based off of the past and it will be based off of the recent injury history and he wouldn't be able to maximize whatever he can get because the running back market is tough right now. It's tough. It's really, really tough. Uh, but anyway, with J.K. Dobbins being on the way back, we, we we talked about this like last week. We talked about it during the stream, during the game too. We expected J.K. Dobbins to be back this week. Like, I mean, you, 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 you saw Keaton Mitchell, right? Like, <laughs> I ain't surprised that J.K. Dobbins is on the way back, and I don't think any of y'all really are either. Um, J.K. Dobbins was in a tough situation with the Baltimore Ravens, uh, with him sort of holding in and whatnot. Mel Melvin Gordon, he put him on blast, even though, I mean, actions speak louder than words, so we, we kind of figured J.K. Dobbins was holding in, but Melvin Gordon, he he's Put it on front street like, hey, you know, J.K. Dobbins is holding in, but it ain't getting all the national coverage like uh, over in Indianapolis with the whole thing with uh, Jonathan Taylor. Melvin Gordon has said that. I paraphrase, but that's basically what he said. So he let it be known like, hey, oh, hey, my, my new teammate, because I, I just got here like two seconds ago, but my new teammate, he's holding in. That's the scoop on that. So it's like Ravens players. They've been breaking news on J.K. Dobbins more than reporters and stuff have. Uh, but anyway, this is it's a good thing for J.K. Dobbins, in my opinion, for him to be back out there, for him to start being back out there with his guys uh, and actually going through the physical part uh, of training camp. Um, this is it's important for him to be back out there, too, because. I do feel like with J.K. Dobbins, with this new offense, I'm sure he got, he got his playbook and all that, and he's learning and understanding the offense. I ain't concerned about that. But I feel like for him to actually be out there, it's, it's different. Because and y'all know, it's much different than, it's much different looking at plays on an iPad or something, or looking at plays on a sheet of paper versus actually executing them. And that's really with anything. Like, you, you could do all the studying and homework on something all you want to, but when you actually do it, whether it's football or not, just in life in general, when you actually get out there and do it, it's a much different scenario and a much different situation. And a lot of times, some of the stuff that you read and whatnot, you ain't going to remember that half the time. You ain't going to remember all that stuff. Like, you ain't going to remember all your answers to, to the tests and whatnot, even though you studied a lot for it. Some of that stuff may just it may not come to mind. And other times, stuff will come naturally. So with J.K. Dobbins, this is a really big year for him because he he can be a part of something special. And I really do feel like with J.K. Dobbins, I, I think, and we said this before with him, I think it's going to be all about efficiency, all about making the most of your opportunities. Now, uh, it's expected that with Ravens, they're going to be going more wide receiver heavy, more wide receiver heavy sets. Possibly like three wide receiver, one tight end, maybe four wide receiver, because they got the ammunition to pull the trigger on that. They got it. We, we expect them to be throwing the ball a lot more than they normally do. But that's not to say that the running game is going bye-bye. No, we don't expect that because you, you, you can't give up the running game. The running game is essential to anything. And the running game is essential to having an effective offense and a consistently effective offense. Because if you're just passing the ball and that's it, then you're going to be one-dimensional. If, you, if you're one-dimensional, then that's no good. 
Teams, they'll, they'll start just dropping back all day and then start rushing that pass. And, and right now, apparently, the Ravens' O-line ain't the best that they could be. We'll see what happens, though, because it's still a little bit early. It ain't that early no more, but it's still a little bit early. So we'll see what happens with that. But you need the run game for balance. Uh, like Sarah Ellison said, for harmony uh, with the offense. So with J.K. Dobbins, if the offense is more spread, if they more spread out, then that'll give him some great opportunities. Because if teams are looking for the pass, you hand it off to J.K. Dobbins and he makes something happen. And the, the, the defense, they won't be all bunched up. They won't all be in the box just waiting for the Ravens to run the ball all the time. So J.K. Dobbins can really put some good – I mean, he already got plenty of good film – out there but this year in this new offense he could put some great tape out there for people to see for whether he does end up staying with the Baltimore Ravens or he ends up moving on but either way this is such a, a big year for J.K. Dobbins and with him getting ready to return yeah no, I don't think it's no coincidence uh, now it's funny because somebody had replied to the tweet that Punchline Podcast put out about this, this breaking news about J.K. Dobbins, it was woe leaking. He said, um, "Well, yeah, he he saw Keith Mitchell out there. That's why he returning." Uh, but then they replied, and it was like, "Well, Keith Mitchell look good. He look good now." But it, this podcast was recorded before uh, the preseason game. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, man, NFL is a tough business. It's a tough, and like we mentioned earlier, and like y'all already know, it's especially tough for running backs right now. Because they're not getting the money that they once had. A lot of teams are not looking at them the same that, that they used to. Most teams are going uh, running back by committee. A lot of teams not really doing, the, all right, this is our number one running back. This is the guy at, at running back. A lot of teams not doing that anymore. They really not. So with that being said, some teams still got it now. But a lot of them are doing away with it. And you know Ravens, like Ravens have been doing this. J.K. knows more than anybody. Like when Mark Ingram came on the scene, he was, he was the guy. But then when, when J.K. Dobbins showed up, they, it was ultimate running back by committee. Uh, like, and like, and I, I would get frustrated with it a lot of times because I remember J.K., he would make, make a big, big run. He would break off a big run. Then they bring out Mark Ingram. Or they bring out Gus. Like, I feel like with, with, the, with the way that the Ravens did it a couple years ago, they, they just were not going with the hot hand consistently enough. And, and that could be really frustrating. And even, even last year sometimes it happened. Last year, like, J.K. would be doing his thing. And then they'd be like, oh, no, no, come here. Get, it, get off the field. But anyway, now uh, most teams are doing that. And, and a lot of teams have been doing that. So – with J.K. Dobbins, um, I'm sure he he saw. He, I'm sure he was watching the game. You already know he was watching the game, checking it out and whatnot. And to see Gus Edwards, which I'm still surprised that he was out there for the Ravens. Uh, like, really? But anyway, because um, there, there was a lot of starters that played across the league. But Gus, he saw Gus Edwards out there. And it was like, okay, he know Gus. He's familiar with Gus. He saw Melvin Gordon out there. Like, all right, Melvin Gordon, okay, yeah, veteran running back. He know how to do his stuff over there, leapfrogging people. Look at Melvin Gordon. He really trying to make the team, man. Um, saw Justice Hill out there. Justice Hill with that cutback where it looked like the run was over, but Justice Hill broke off and cut back and, and ended up getting a nice chunk of yards. He was doing his thing. He saw them three like, oh, okay, those are some established guys in the NFL. Well, Justice Hill not as much, but he's been, hey, he been in the league for a couple years now. But then he saw Keaton Mitchell. Ooh. Three running backs right there that we already named that could make the team. That's a, it's possible for them to make the team. And most likely, uh, well, Gus Edwards, yeah. Even Justice Hill, yeah. Melvin Gordon, we'll see. But it's the possibility is there. But then you add a fourth to the mix with Keaton Mitchell. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure J.K. was probably calling Harbaugh right there like, hey, I'm on the way, man. Don't, don't forget about me. Because... Teams will. They will. You mess, especially at the running back position. I mean, it can really happen at any position, but especially at running back, since teams are doing running back by committee more than ever now, they'll move on. They'll move on. They will keep it moving. And with J.K. Dobbins, talented running back, he can do it all. 
He could catch. He could break the big ones off. He could be the home run hitter. He'll shake you. He got the strength and he, he'll move you out the way too. But if Ravens see, and this really goes with any team, not just the Ravens, but if Ravens see like, oh, we can get production from him, from him, from him, from him, without you. Oh, you don't want to show up? Okay, no, no. You ain't got to show up. You ain't, ain't got to show up. Go, do you, do you, whatever you want to do. You want to stay home? You want to sit out? Okay, do your thing. If they see that they can get production out of those other guys and without you, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. And another thing, too, those guys ain't in the contract dispute with Ravens. So all those guys are happily showing up to work right now. And with J.K. Dobbins, again, y'all know this already, too, the leverage is tough because he ain't got it. He does not have the leverage in the situation, man. He really don't. And that, that's what makes the situation even trickier for him. He has, like, no leverage whatsoever, and especially at the position that he's in. If he was a quarterback, even if he had missed some time or whatnot, if, if he was a quarterback and he was a quarterback that was like that, then he, he would have so much leverage. Oh, he would have a lot of leverage. If he was a wide receiver. They have a lot of leverage, not as much as a quarterback, but wide receivers have a lot, of, a lot of leverage too. Tight ends, some offensive linemen, but running back is just a position that teams are not looking at like it's a uh, premium position right now. So they just, the, the, again, the market, the market is what the market is right now, man. And running backs, they're they not eating like they once were. So it's tough. Again, you, you see the Saquon Barkley's? You see the, the the Josh Jacobs. You see the Ezekiel Elliott's. Still out there. Still. So the market is what the market is, man. So with J.K. Dobbins being on the way back, I would not be surprised if today, like today, whenever, the, I don't know what time they practice at. I'm recording this at 9.25 a.m. Uh, I would not be surprised if today, J J.K. Thomas was like, hey, y'all, what's good, baby? I'm back in the building, and I'm no longer sitting out.